Hi, welcome to Evening Prayer. This is our daily opportunity to pause, to breathe, to offer to God all our thoughts and worries and concerns and joys and triumphs, and to find ourselves centered again in an awareness of God's presence and in the words of Scripture. So in a moment, we're going to be reading Psalm 46. So if you've not done so yet, uh, grab your Bible or open up your app or copy of the Psalms. We're going to be reading that together. But before we do that, um, we're simply going to pray to invite God to, uh, to come to make us aware of God's presence. And then we're going to light this candle uh, simply as a, a visible reminder of the presence of God with us in this time. So let's do that. Let's be still. Lord, we come into your presence needing your peace. Thankful, Jesus, that you make friendship with God possible. Longing, Holy Spirit, for intimacy with our Father God. So, Lord, we offer you all our scattered thoughts. Center us again in you. Give us your perspective. Give us your peace, we ask. In Jesus' name. And we light this candle as a reminder of the presence of Christ with us. Psalm 46 is uh, often quoted, or at least some words from it are, because it is in Psalm 46 that we find those words, Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Often we find these to be uh, words of comfort, um, and they are. We read them often, I suppose I imagine, uh, like God uh, as a, a strong and loving father is saying, don't worry, child, I'll take care of this. And that's definitely there, but there's something else here as well, because Psalm 46 is actually um, is a psalm about God, our our rescuer, God, our protector. Um, but it's God, our rescuer and God, our protector, because all around us, there is war. Um, all around us, there is uh, battle. Um, everywhere we look, there is conflict and trouble and nations rising up against nations. I wonder, um, can we see that anywhere? In our world at the moment and when God speaks those words you can see there in verse 10 when God speaks those words be still and know that I am God well who's he speaking to it seems that he's speaking to uh, those nations that would um, try and exalt themselves uh, those leaders that would try and become exalted on the earth and God's saying calm down <laughs> like be still shut up I'm God I will be exalted in the nations I will be exalted in the earth not you you who's trying to make your name great 
God is God. So there's another layer to that to that reassurance. Uh, when we look around the world and see people in power uh, who are uh, causing suffering, causing oppression, the promise here is that they are not God. Kings are not God in the language of the time here. God is God. Psalm 46. Um, you can't really get very far in it before you realise that it's a song. These are song lyrics. It says, for the director of music of the sons of Korah, according to Alamot, a song. You know, Alamot, the song. You know how that one goes, right? Alamo. No, uh, we don't. We don't know. We don't know what this tune was. But when this note was made, everyone presumably would have known what this note meant. Uh, that this song was set to this tune, Alamo, that people knew. And that's a whole other question about the Psalms. Um, what did it sound like? Uh, like obviously, this kind of Hebrew music was maybe totally different to what our ears would be used to, but uh, what musical genre would it be in? What musical genre would suit uh, these songs? Often we kind of set them to Baroque organ tunes or um, kind of West Coast guitar anthems, um, but actually there's loads of musical genres. So uh, Alamote, was Alamote, did that sound like heavy metal? Was it like a really aggressive tune? Or was it a bit bluesy and a bit sad? Um, this can really help us when we're reading the psalm, especially if you're a lover of, of music. Um, what, 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 a, what emotion is conveyed by this? One Bible paraphrase, um, the word on the street, the, the author of that, Rob Lacey, uh, did, did this. He wrote a note at the top, you know, according to Alamote, he would write, you know, a blues song or a hip hop song. And he would try and write in that genre and it really brought the whole thing to life. We're going to read this now um, as it comes. We're going to be aware of uh, the trouble that the writer is talking about. We're going to be aware of trouble in our own lives, in our own world. Maybe we're going to hear some of the emotion that might have been conveyed in the original tune. We're going to hear God's word to us, be still and know that I am God. And then we're going to jump off into prayer for our neighbours, for our world, for ourselves. So let's pray. God is our refuge and our strength. An ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with its surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice. The earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what the Lord has done. The desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease. To the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. He says... Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. 
The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. So we just want to use some of the ideas and the themes and the words, the images even of this psalm to jump off into prayer. Just pray what's on my heart and you pray what's on your heart as well. Lord, we thank you that in our world, when so many try to exalt themselves at the expense of others, that you, almighty God, do not remain silent. You say, be still. Lord, thank you for the reassurance um, that the, the kings and leaders of this world are not God, that you and only you are God and that you are good. And Lord, uh, whenever there's trouble all around, whenever there are things that makes, make us anxious or fearful, we can say that God, the creator, the one who makes war says, God is our fortress. God is our protector. God is our help in times of trouble, even if the earth falls away. Lord, we are secure in you. Lord, we want to pray for, um, for those who are in the middle of real trouble today those whose lives are in uproar, where it feels like um, everything they've known and everything they've built is falling down around them. Lord, we want to pray for those people that we would be able to say, um, as the writers here say of the city, God is within her, he will not fall. God is within him, he will not fall. God will help at break of day. Lord, there's so many people going through times that feel so dark right now and they're just waiting for dawn to break. Lord, will you come to them as their help? And God, as we've been praying through the Psalms, we've had people in mind, we've had friends and relatives and colleagues that we've been praying for. And Lord, we call them to mind again now. We bring them before you again now. And Lord, we thank you for this psalm, um, that when all around is trouble, when all around is conflict, that you are God, that you are our safety, that you are our fortress. And Lord, we ask for it for them. We ask that they would know that we can run into you and seek refuge. Lord, some of the people we're praying for uh, know you, uh, some of them know about you. Some of them don't know anything. Don't know that you love them, Lord. Don't know that uh, that you're there for them. So, Lord, we long for them to know the goodness of God, that you are an ever-present help in trouble. Lord, our hearts agree with your heart. That we, we just long for them to know you. to know the safety of your presence, to know the security of your love, to know the freedom of life with you, Lord, that they would know um, those streams of life that make us glad. Lord, there there are oppressors too in these stories. There are people who are causing others to suffer. Lord, we think of situations of uh, domestic abuse, um, of bullying, of racism, or all kinds of things where one person is exalting themselves and causing the others such great pain. And God, we thank you that this psalm says, you are the one who breaks the bow and shatters the spear. You destroy the weapons of war. 
So, Lord, for those who are in the place of oppressor right now, God, we pray that you come to them and break the weapons that they're using to hurt others, whether that is their their words or uh, their, their bodies, Lord, or their power, or take away, take away those weapons that they're using to hurt others and bring them to, to a place of humbleness, bring them to a place where they can receive the healing that they need, where they can come to the point of repentance and forgiveness and seeking your face. We pray in Jesus' name. We're gonna to pray together using these words. O High King of Heaven, have mercy on your land. Revive your church. Send your Holy Spirit for the sake of the lost, the least and the broken. May your kingdom come to our nation in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Grace and peace be with you.